viewers, welcome again to Axe 25. We are here in Tobago as we continue to bring you a series of interviews uh, coming out from the Trans Tobago Prison Youth Club. And as I said earlier in our first interview, we, we have come to Tobago to highlight the different groups in Tobago. And today we are here at the Fairfield Complex in Bacalek, Tobago, where the organizing committee have come together to pull all the clubs together to give the young people a treat. So we'll be here and from time to time we will break away from what is going on inside to interview uh, individuals who have been instrumental in uh, the upbringing of this youth club in Tobago. I would like to make mention of um, the president, Mr. Espinosa, the vice president, Mr. Bell, all in attendance, the acting supervisor of Tobago Prison, Mr. Sandy, Okay, with that, I bring greetings from the prison executive, the commissioner, and the members of the executive of the prison service. And so this evening, I just want to say how thankful, how grateful I am to be with you all here this evening. And I just want to call a few names this evening, those that we have done work within the Prisons Youth Club in Tobago. And so I want us to recognize this evening Miss Hercules. Where's Miss Hercules? Right. We have from Patient Cell, we have Miss Job, and I'm only calling those who are here. Right, we have um, Mommy Jules, Mom Grace, we have Rona, and Ethlyn from um, Grand We appreciate, we appreciate, we really appreciate what you have been doing, not only you, but everybody who work with the youth clubs. The youth club is important because it's for the children, and we have always to remember our motto is towards the upliftment of youth. We have one of the stalwarts, a person who has been here for close to 15 years, who was part of instrumental in getting the youth club off the ground, Ms. Juliana Cowan. Uh, Ms. Cowan, good afternoon, and it's a pleasure to be chatting with you. Yes, good afternoon, sir. Now, you far from the Mongrace Harmony Hall community. Yes. Before we get into the aspect of the prison youth club mm. tell us a bit about who don't know about your community tell us who don't know yeah what's for, for like me i don't know much about your community oh, well my yes. community is a small community mm -hmm. okay uh, but and my community is a small community but we are very very talented okay mm -hmm. we like culture mm -hmm. we like everything mm -hmm. to bring up a village mm -hmm. right and before I, said, before I tell you about me, mm -hmm. I will tell you about the village. Yeah. Well, we had um, at one time seen that the village had so much, uh, had cultured. Mm -hmm. We had asked, um, I decided, seeing other villages came up with, the, with um, heritage. So I decided and I look around and I see where we could bring off that kind of production. So I think it over and I went to a gentleman called Mr. Bernie Jack mm -hmm. and he accepted the idea that I came up with. Then he and then we went to the president of the village council and also the secretary of the village council and they all agreed. We come together and then I started off with them. Telling them what I know concerning about and it's Christmas custom of yesteryear. Yesterday. Mm -hmm and telling about what I know about Christmas in Mount Grace, in our village. And he, as an elder person than I, he now come in, all make up a package, and we started off the, what we used to do. So what's the upliftment of youth? That is what the youth club is about, uplifting youth, making sure that the youths of our nations, of our nation, develop in a proper way that our youths do not get delinquent but contribute to the society that we belong to. And so the youth clubs are very, very important. 
Also, I want to I want to remind you that we ought to keep the youth club in mind. We ought to have vision for the youth club. What is your vision for for the youth club? I want us to have each club have a vision, not just a calendar of event, but a vision that will take the youth club far beyond the current year that we have. And so our vision for the youth club is that our youths will grow, that our youth clubs will grow. And let me say, it's time for Tobago to have two more youth clubs. And we need to work on that in 2015, right? We need to work on developing two more areas, two more districts, two more communities in Tobago so that our, our organization, the Trinidad Tobago Youth Club, will be represented in these, in these communities. There are a lot of youths out there. Once we approach them, once we get officers and people in the community to work with them, that we are going to see changes. There's so many much cry in our society about the youth, but I believe in youths because youths will be the leaders of tomorrow. So after all these years, how has the committee grown? Well, the committee been going because they had um, they used to have um, people coming in and doing different things like um, food preparation, all handicraft and all the rest of thing. At I was involved in it. I was in the village council from 1968-69 till this 2014. I'm still there. No. Prison you group. Prison you How you got involved in this prison Well, group? after the, the, the lady Miss Bell, as I told you about, came and was talking that look, we want to raise a prison you club in Mongreese. And everybody will be, they come to me because I am a person, people person. And you could organize. And I could organize. Yeah. And everybody look up to me. Yeah, they respect you. They respect whether you're older than me, you're younger than me, you're small, whatever. Everybody look up to me as a person, people person. So they come and they're asking around. And as I could talk, I go around and everybody asking, asking the youths and everybody decided yes. And they're asking me if I'll be there. And I said yes. And whilst I'll be there, everybody there. Because manners make it man. And as you old people say, you show me your company, you tell me who you are. You understand me? So by that is so we go around and we get up, get up, get up and to it. And then after we was going so well, because I even raised up a um I had a youth group called with um girls club with 19 girls, mm -hmm. girls alone, and all was home by me, my place, and asking them what they want. Mm -hmm. So they said um, they want dancing. So I went around and I went to community development in that timing, and everybody agreed with what I want to come up, and everybody decided, well, yes, I want to put something out, and we started out right there. And we had a group, a group called Katumba Dance Group, yeah. which is from the prison, is from the prison, okay? And from that, well, everybody, some went to do the, the um, educational business and so forth, so the group went right down to only three. Four, myself and three others. Because everybody went away, and this lady that is standing there, she is the president of the group. So she was involved in it, but after she went out to college and things, she went right down. And while we were there, they said, Mommy Jews, that is them, give me that name. Mommy Jews, it's three of us, let us continue, keep it up. Mm -hmm. And I stood up there with them from that time till this present night. And right now, presently, I have over nearly 50. Children. Children. Mm -hmm. Children, and the parents mm -hmm. include, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they said, let us, and I start doing it. And when the group, the prison went to Trinidad, um, yeah. Grenada, went to go Grenada, I start to sell things because we want to, I want to, they said, Mommy Jews, we are not leaving you because you stand up to see, hold on to that post, hold on yeah. to that, to that prison youth club because it was nice. Mm. Because I like the children, I love children and I love the children behave themselves. Mm. 
You go see me, you wouldn't believe it's me. You understand? Like, well, young people, you must be on young. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. And they stood up, yeah. and I stood up with them. Yeah. So when they said I was going to Grenada, some of them didn't have their passport and what have you. But I went with them. I was there with them. Those of us and those of you in Tobago who are working, I want to encourage you this evening, do not get weary in good works, please. Do not get weary in good works. At times it's hard, at times we have challenges, at times we, we feel that it's the best thing to do is to put our hands in the air and stop, but that's not the best thing. Let's continue because again, it's not about the adults, but it's about the youth. So I want to, I want to say this evening, I'm not going to be long, I want to say this evening, I am thankful that we can gather here. I, I was sort of sorry that we could not do it in December, but here we are this evening, gathered here as the members and as the caretakers of the youth club, the Tobago Arm. And so we must dedicate ourselves to go forward. We must dedicate ourselves to go beyond what we have at this point in time. So let us dedicate ourselves towards the upliftment of youth, towards the carrying on of the youth clubs. And so again, on behalf of the commissioner and the executive, I say thank you, God bless you, and many, many, many goodness for 2015. Thank you very much. It wasn't help from the Disney Youth Club. Because you remember the, the doorman, you had to call it a kind of doorman. Yeah. With my little pension I have. Yeah, hear what I'm telling you? And I, when I get a little money from her, I used to make porn. The prison officers and them, they used to come and they supported me. They, the prisoners supported me. Seven pound a porn. By the time I done back, 15 pound a porn all went. Those are around, and the people around my, in my area, my village and the environs, they supported me because what I've been doing for the children and what I'm still doing for them and I, and I continue and I would not stop. Looking back now at the group of children that you have, mm -hmm. um, how, in what area um, you have seen growth? Yeah. How has these children grown or changed from the inception when they came into you first time? Well, when they, when they come into me, you know children have their baby, they have to sit. They have to say good afternoon, they have to pray, and all this sort of thing. That is what brings them up. And when they have to say miss or mistress or call you tante or whatever, that is how I have to start off with them. And believe me, I am don't regret being with those children. Any of those children have grown up and gone on to any? Yes, yes, yes. My granddaughter, she was, um, she danced until she went to Hollywood. Okay. She danced and go to Hollywood and come back. And you have we have um go mm. She doing um what's she doing again there? Um fashion. Mm. And right. they came into the club at at a tender age. And From tender age and come up, but they went so when they come back so now all of them in it now. So they all have come back now to the to to, that yeah, support. Yes, right. So, you're, so you're, you have a support base. Man, now. I have man, I, man I bright like that. Yeah, you're bright like that, you're yeah. like a bulb. Yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah. like But and the ideas it come into them and yeah. everything I say with them. Yeah. I say you're like a little not too long ago I was saying to them, to her and to them, I say, um, we have to do something, you must try to do something where some of them they don't do. Mm -hmm. So ask them if, if they like or they like to play um what I tell you the um I tell you, the, with the ball, with the ball, the ball. Wrong does? Wrong does. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you about that now. No, <laughs> well, no, I don't want them to do that. I, I just tell him, yeah. I want to, I was telling Mr. Bell, we are coming for you this time because we, that we went down to Trinidad. Yeah. And I believe me, yeah. we just started out, we go and we win with the, with the um, May Paul. Yeah. We started about in May, yeah. when everybody come in. Mm -hmm. In May, May last year. Yeah. And when we hear about the, the May Paul competition, then we go for it. Yeah, only win them. But we win them. We bring first in the village yeah. and we bring third mm -hmm. in the overall village was 40 something and we win that we come third. We come back again. <laughs> Going down a train that for them. Yeah. You know what, what we used to do? Yeah. It's sell we were selling things. And well because stipend we get. We sell we've been selling things. 
We use cardboard and make slippers. We strip the feed bag. I work with the, the clothes, the costume. We go down there for them in Trinidad. Cut their throat. And I tell Mr. Bello, we quick coming for them this time. We have a production putting on. Yeah. I see you have a smile on your face, right? But <laughs> what is one thing in the 15 years of you being associated with, with this club mm. that when you sit down, you know, it brings a joy to you that you just can't help it but have a smile on your face? The children. Children. And the communication, the communication, the communication with the village, with the children, the children. Before we end, mm -hmm. we've seen so much of problems with the young people. Mm -hmm. Parents and can handle children, all kind of But it's how we... What piece of advice, watching the camera and yes. giving the people a piece of advice to All right. Bring out the cane? The, the, eh? Bring out the cane? If to bring out the cane? You could bring out the cane sometimes. Sometimes they want the cane. Because the cane... They said the cane does kill, the cane don't kill nobody. Mm. You understand? The cane don't kill nobody. Mm. My advice to them, you, you have to put your children and sit down and talk to them. Have a good relationship with the children and that they, they can't hide nothing from you, they will come to tell you. Whatever, don't care what they're doing, they will tell you. And that is what the children do to me. That is what have me here. They will come leave their parents, don't tell them, but they will come and see the mommy Jews, you know, so and so. And I will say, no, it's the way you talk to children. You must have a way of speaking to children in a nice way that children will understand. But you know when mommy Jews tell me, she right? No, don't do that because when you be misbehave like that, you end up in YTC down there because we took the children down there before them when Carla Beach was there with us mm -hmm. at that time. In. Yeah, and we take them along there and all this sort of thing. So I have a wide experience every single thing. And I love the children them. And the parents and the children, they love me to that. They don't come and bar talk and say nothing about it. They love me to death. They love me to everything. Don't come to the, tell me, say nothing. Yeah. So I like parents to sit with their children. Talk to them nice. You have the time, you will rough them up. You're roughing them up because you don't want your children to be like you. You want your children to come out good. You understand what I mean? So you have to talk to them in a tangible way and show them the way you brought up. And how we brought up long time is not the way children going to be brought up now. Yeah, because see. long ago we used to beat a lot, but now you could sit and talk to your children in a tangible way. Do, and don't embarrass children nowadays. Do not embarrass children outside nowadays because it will be very bad. Sit with them, talk to them nice. That is me. Well, Mammy Jules, Mammy Jules is calling you. Yes, everybody. I'm taking the privilege to call you Mammy Jules. Yes. I want to say thank you very much for yes. spending this time with us. Yes. And we hope that we can get another 15, plus another 15 of your involvement in the trend. Yes. That's what we need right now. Mm -hmm. And we want to wish you and the Mount Grace mm -hmm. Harmony Hill Prison Club mm -hmm. all great success. Mm -hmm. And we hope that they will, at the end of the day, Everyone who in the club or who might be outside the club will mm -hmm. appreciate yeah, because, what you're doing for the community. It, yes, well, because we just have an um, evening class, like when we have a, um, our meeting is every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And on Tuesdays, our meeting, we just let the children bring their school books. Mm -hmm. And she is the teacher, she's the president. She brings their school, we taught them how to do spelling. Sometimes they don't know how to riddle, riddle. Sometimes you bring them long time thing and give them, let them feel nice. You can't sit down one time every time you want to. Give them something to laugh. Yeah. Thank you again. <laughs> and blessings. Yeah, blessings. Well, there you heard it from, uh, Miss from Miss Juliana Cowan, better known as Maggie. Love. The person responsible for the establishment of the Mongolian family. Here. Love, love, love Prison is all. Youth club. Youth club. So love. we want to thank her for spending this time with us. As I said before, we are here at the Fairfield Complex in Bacalet Tobago, where the prison arm has come together to give the children of the different groups a treat. So we'll be here and from time to time we'll break away from what is going on inside to interview an uh, individual who will be instrumental in uh, the upbringing of this youth club in Tobago. We would now like to have a distribution of some memorabilia for four Four past youth club members. In they all they died, and we would just like to pass on some memorabilia to their family.
the four people were Peaches Zebro, Karen John, Lawrence Kerr, and Miguel Mulligan. I just want to say thank you for Lawrence. Time I have known Lawrence. Lawrence is an excellent young man, very willing, always smiling, always happy, and the privilege of knowing him. I cherish that. Thank you. Welcome back to Fairfield Complex in Bacalic Tobago. As I said, we are continuing talking to people who have been responsible and instrumental in the starting and the upbringing of the Trent Tobago Prison Youth Club. And we have one Miss Ethlyn Chance. Now, Miss Chance here is representing the president. She will be soon elected president, but it has not been confirmed as yet. Is it? or? Can say so. Well, let's say the, 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 the president in waiting. Welcome to Acts 25. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Now, you are the, a member of the Lance for Me Village. Prison Youth Club. Prison Youth Club. Lance for Me Prison Village Prison Youth Club. Yeah. How long have you been associated with this club? Well, I am being associated with the club and happy and proud to say for the last 20 years. That's a very long time. Very, 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 very long active time. But it appears that the person comes in Tobago. Um, well, I know the clubs were actually started in Tobago because um, I just spoke to um, one other person who has been there 15 years. So it appears that the person club has been existing before the police club and other youth clubs. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Now, what was the main purpose of, of you starting a person club? Well, the main purpose of starting a prison club, it started, I think, in 1994. And um, Mistress uh, Merle Hercules, who is still around. Yes, I had a pleasure of yes, speaking with her. Yes, a very dynamic woman. Yes, yes. Thanks, yeah. And um, she brought a few officers into Lance for me and introduced them. Mm. From the prison youth club, mm. they wanting to find ways and means to kind of have youths more or less occupied mm. so that you know they would not get themselves into this kind of, kind of trouble or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we took up the mantle mm. and went with it. And as for now, mm. we haven't regretted it at all. We sort of keep the youths away from trouble. Our meetings are held every Monday night. Mm. There are different activities, different Mondays you have the general meeting night, you have the activities night, you have the nights to meet and greet and share more or less. Look if you have a problem or whatever yeah. you share it with one another. Yeah. But our main idea or main factor mm. is to keep the youths occupied. How large is your group? Ah, our group Nikki here is there about fifty four to sixty members mm. and it's Growing. Mm. It's, it's growing. Okay. Um, when you look at your group, um, what sort of changes you have seen in the young people since the the the, 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 the exception in, 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 in the, the, the club when they came into the club, right? What sort of changes you have seen with these young people since you have joined the club actually? Well, Mr. George, we have had a mm -hmm. lot a lot of changes because our children mm -hmm. learn to speak out. Yeah. Um, we have since generated a dance group. Mm -hmm. We even we the group even went as far as Kariku in Grenada. This group, our dance group, came first in the best African dancers, and um, from that generating, we have work um, children even from the experience learning to speak out have expanded so far that we have them in different, we have policemen, we have children, mm. even become prison officers now, we have Coast Guard because what we do is kind of link them with the different military forces mm. so that they could have a mm. wide, wide experience. So, mm. you know, we really, really are grateful for mm. the prisons. Mm. And I'm, I think that we are going very, very fast mm. because from this, you know, um, we Landstrom is very small, but large in doing things. Mm. And um, 
our air representative, thank God for her, Tracy Davis and Celestine, saw the need for us having our own youth club. Mm -hmm. So we were presented the last two years with our own Y zone where we have our own computers, mm -hmm. a building that if young people could mm -hmm. go and express themselves more, mm -hmm. get access to the internet, mm -hmm. know what's going on here, know what's going on there. So Lansom is more or less moving on. Okay. Um, what are some of the challenges you face within the club? Well, some of the challenges sometimes is um, coming out early to meetings. Mm. And sometimes you um, find that if you do not have enough activities, yeah. the sort of a, the young people sort of a stray. Mm -hmm. So we more or less have, an acti have activities sort of to keep them like sports and different activities, different, a lot of different things mm. to keep generating members. That is where we came up with 54 and counting members. Kathleen, it was really a pleasure. Let me wish you and the community and your group all the best. I hope when I next listen to you, I will hear that you have grown from 54 to over 100. We had the pleasure of speaking with uh, Ms. Chance. Uh, as I said, we are here at the CFA complex where the children in a while is going to be treated with gifts and other things. So we come back, we should be starting with the function. So stay tuned. This is Art Television and we are here in today. Ms. Chance, again, we want to thank you for the opportunity of being, knowing your son and for allowing him to be part of our prison youth club. Now, Chantel, tell us a bit about the prison youth club. How long or could you remember the amount of years you have been involved with the prison youth club? Right. I can't remember exactly how much years, but it's been a lot. I could say about probably 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who or what encouraged you to get involved with the Prison Youth Club? Well, there's this lady, the president, which is Valerie Koshi. Mm. She's the one she encouraged the young people of Burmese also to join the Youth Club because mm. she was telling us that they have a lot of benefits in it for us mm. as young people, we learn a lot of things. Mm. And it was true. Going through the years of the prison youth club, I learned a lot and it helped me to develop my personality, personality mm. as I am. What are some of your activ activities you are having in the club? In the club, in Colony. Yeah. We have activities like we have like games, mm. like play different games that we used to play a long time mm. and all these things in my club learn new things that we didn't know from before mm -hmm. and all these mm. What would you say uh, as, a, as, a, to, as a young person to another young person? We, we have seen so many negative things that said about young people today. We have also seen so many young people getting themselves involved in all sorts of different crimes, unwanted pregnancies, all these different things. As a young person who has passed through the prison club, what advice would you give to another young person? advice that I will give to this young person is that keep your head on no matter what because in life they must they must have a long fall sometime in life but they must get up back and go again. You don't just give up. You just go again or you can speak to some elder person that might be able to encourage you to do something. So don't just give up. Try and try again. Uh, what, what, what will you tell somebody to encourage them to join any prison youth group. Why? Why should I join the prison youth group? I will tell a person the reason to join the prison youth club is because it has a lot of opportunities there for you to learn and for you to develop a good personality, make them someone, make them a better person of tomorrow because they say the young people is the future yes, of tomorrow. Yeah. So I will just tell them that. It will help them a lot. They will learn things, they might go places, things that they never did before, they will be able to do it and all these things. Chantal, it was a pleasure and let me wish you and your group all the best and keep, keep your head up and as president, you know, you have a, it's a huge role because everybody will be looking at you as the exemplar and the leader. So again, I hope and pray that you, you know, do the right thing and that the Golden Club will go from strength to strength. 
behalf of the prison service suit club, we want to say thank you for the privilege of having teachers with us. Because we are talking about somebody who died. We're talking about an officer who dedicated his life to the youth club. We're talking about an officer who was with us from the beginning. Anytime you come to Tobago, you would see him. We are talking about one called Noel Melville. You remember that name? If you remember that name, tell me amen. Because this is a fella who went all the way to make sure things happen in Tobago. He was one of the earlier trendsetters, one of the earlier pioneers. And he died. He left us. And today we want to take that time off to remember Melville. One for the work that he has done. And he was one of us. So could we stand and be silent for a while and remember Melville? A hard worker, a dedicated individual, one who moved night upon night visiting clubs and making sure things was in order. And as we stand, we will remember all the rest of the fallen soldiers because everybody was important. The part that you play in life while you live is very important. So we were alive. Could we take that time off to remember they all? Welcome back to the Fairfield Complex in Macalek, Tobago. And I think I have the final person representing the Trinidad Tobago Prison Youth Club in Tobago. And she is the Vice President of the Patient Hill uh, Police Youth Club, Cherise Elliott. Cherise, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, before I get into the Prison Youth Club, tell me a bit about Patient Hill. What's the village like, you know? What sort of activities you all have up there? What kind of? Activities they have up there. Oh, Patient Hill is a small village. Not much activities. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Very quiet. What about crime? Crime? No. Mm -hmm. It's a crime. Yes. It's not a, no crime. Tell me a bit about your involvement in the prison youth club. My involvement in the... When it started, how long you joined? And... I, joined, I joined the prison youth club roughly about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. When I was still in primary school. Mm -hmm. um, Club helped me develop as a young person, mm -hmm. and I'm helping other young persons. Okay. Because... Were you forced to no. join the club? No, or... I was invited. Okay. And with the invitation, I stayed. Okay. How large is the group? Um, the group roughly has 30 members. 30 members. And what what days you all you know come together and um, have your, your discussions and things like that? What days you have? Huh? What days you come out to have your meetings okay. and things um, like that? Friday, every Friday okay. at five. Okay. What? How is the group involved in the community? Do you all do anything in the community? You know, what what, what the group does? You know. Um. Well, the group has several projects that mm. we do, like a cleanup campaign, mm -hmm. which will go to different parts of the village mm -hmm. and clean. We help the young, the old, mm -hmm. in any way that we can. Okay. How do you all solicit new members? You just go out. You know, how do you encourage people to join the group? Well, we try to tell them about our program. Mm -hmm. Well, try to anything marketable. Anything marketable. Yeah. And since you have been in the in the group, um, what are some of the changes? And not with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. But other members. You know, I mean, you must have seen some of the members the way they came in. You know, and uh, over the period of time, what sort of changes you have seen in them? Well, the ones that are timid. Yeah. They are now outspoken, mm -hmm. they get more interactive mm -hmm. and stuff. Okay. Um, if I'm to ask you to convince me to join um, Fisher's um, youth, club, um, youth Club, what will you tell me to encourage me, to make me want to join? I would just tell you, you have to come. It's an experience. Mm -hmm. It's a good experience. You have to come. It's a good experience. Yeah. And you, you seem to be one of the younger um, vice presidents in the group, uh -huh. right? How the, how has that responsibility um, changed you? Um, it changed me in terms that uh, I become more responsible. Mm -hmm. So I will have to control the younger ones, mm -hmm. make sure to hold them in shape. Mm -hmm. 
Kaz Development and Development. You're still at school? Yeah. What school are you attending? Bishop's High School. Bishop, right. And what plans do you have uh, for when you take over? Because eventually you're going to take over the club, right? Probably, right. Yeah. Not probably you will because <laughs> you're right, right. But what sort of plans you have or what ideas, new ideas you have to, to give the club to enhance them to go you know, further? I don't really have new ideas, mm -hmm. but I just the dream just to de develop young persons. Okay. So the best they can. Chantal, it was a really a pleasure. And send my uh, congratulations to Ms. Roberts, who is the president. The um, PRO. The PRO, right? And um, we wish you all, all the best and we hope that your club are one of the clubs that will excel. Yes. Well, I want to thank you for knowing me there. For the short time he was with us, he was well loved, very, very intelligent young man who expressed himself so eloquently for his age. And I know it was a privilege to all of us who knew him. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Mr. Espinoza and all the other invitees. I want to say welcome. I want to thank everyone who has made this occasion possible. Um, this prison youth club. I know the youth clubs up have been doing a wonderful job in preparing young men and women for society. And this is a payback for those who weren't able to have their Christmas treat last year. I want to thank everybody who made it possible to, for this show. And I hope that the officers who took time out to give their service will be able to continue for the rest of the year and hopefully the rest of the service in bringing the young men and women to play a part in the prison service. So I hope this afternoon will be a wonderful evening and I want you all to enjoy and to know that we all officers of the Tobago Prison are in support of any venture that you all take. I want to thank you very much and have a great afternoon.